Hi there beautiful souls and welcome to Kutch Tarot. My name is Jane and I am here with a pick a card reading for you to find out how your person is currently thinking and feeling about you. So a big warm welcome to anyone who is new here and a massive warm welcome back to my beautiful subscribers. I do appreciate each and every one of you. I'd like to quickly mention that I am still doing my free giveaway reading so if you are subscribed and you do leave me a comment on one of my videos you could be the lucky winner of April's free reading at the end of the month. This is just going to be a general reading so just take anything that resonates with you. If you do find the reading helpful or you do enjoy then please do leave me a like, comment, subscribe. It really does mean a lot to me. So for this reading we have three options here. We have option number one with the rose quartz. We have option number two with this beautiful shell and we also have option number three with the dice. If you need more time then please pause the video here otherwise I will see you at your timestamp where we will have a look at how your person is currently thinking, feeling about you and we'll get some messages from your person as well. Hi there group one and welcome to your reading those of you who chose this lovely rose quartz. This is going to be your reading a warm welcome to everyone who's here, who is here. Thank you for sharing your time with me. I'm getting a bit tongue tied. Okay so I have your messages cards which you shall take a look at in a moment. And we have some oracle cards which we're going to take a look at now. And then we'll get your tarot cards in just a moment. So we have the nine, sorry a nine which is the material harvest. Wow, we have the beautiful true love card here. True love comes when you least expect it. And we also have the dating card. So for some of you, okay, this could be someone that you have recently met and you are currently dating this person. And for others of you, okay, either way, I feel this is a connection, okay, that's kind of come from nowhere and taken your person by surprise. I think perhaps, okay, there's someone who is very independent with this material harvest here and perhaps even someone who is very focused and goal orientated career wise, okay, um, very much focused in the 3D world then and then boom, you've come along and you've really sparked something within them. What I do feel is interesting, okay, in these two images, we do have flowers being gifted, so that could be significant for some of you here or perhaps this person would like to gift you something small. I definitely feel this is someone who does want to date you and for many of you, okay, this is someone who there's either that instant... Um, love at first sight kind of energy here okay or there is something deep that is emerging within your person okay that perhaps they were not expecting and um, for others of you what I'm getting here okay is this is someone perhaps you have been dealing with for a long time okay that might have even you might have even gone your separate ways to focus on your independence here, okay? Um, and they are realising that this is actually true love and they want to come in with some sort of an offer. Either way, I feel this is someone who does want to date you and does have a deep sense of true love towards you. So let us have a look with your tarot cards now. How is this person currently feeling for you? Group number one. How is group one's person currently feeling about them? We have the lovely world card here. We have the Ace of Wands, definitely somebody, okay, who is feeling passionate towards you as well as this love and they want something with you, whether it's a new beginning, whether it is a start, okay. Um, this world card does indicate that perhaps for some of you, you have, as I say, taken some space so you both can gain some independence here and this is a restart of a connection. For others of you, okay, I do feel that this is a brand new connection, someone that you have recently met and it certainly does have the potential to be this true love that you have been hoping for we have the seven of swords here we'll get clarification for that in just a moment the seven of swords okay can indicate someone who is not being completely open and honest what i'm really getting here for the majority of you okay is that this person maybe hasn't expressed their feelings for you for others of you okay there could have been a separation here like i said okay and this could have been someone who has not always acted the best of their integrity, okay, that is actually wanting this brand new beginning with you. I feel there's a realisation on their part if they have behaved out of character, if they have behaved not in the best light, then okay, there is an awareness on their part in regards to that. But I feel for the majority of you, okay, this is someone who hasn't really expressed the depth of their feelings for you, perhaps because it is quite early on in your connection. And for others of you... 
It could be because they didn't feel that they had enough independence at that time. There could have even been a little bit of self-sabotage you want to get for some of you here. This world can also indicate a physical distance between the two of you as well here. Let's get one more tarot card. We've got two, so we shall take them. We have the Wheel of Fortune. And we have Judgment. Wow, okay. So we have three major arcana cards here. Let's just move those up slightly. Three major arcanas in the space of five cards. At the bottom of the deck, we actually have the Four of Pentacles. Like I said, for the majority of you here, I feel this is someone who has not expressed their feelings, okay? Someone who might even kind of hold on to the connection or your energy, okay? But doesn't really open up at the same time, doesn't give an awful lot. And I feel they are, this Wheel of Fortune indicates a cycle changer, moving away from this kind of Seven of Swords energy into something more in alignment with who they truly are. I do feel this is definitely someone, okay, who wants a beginning with you or a new beginning here, a fresh start, the Wheel of Fortune to the Judgment energy. I also get the energy message here, okay, this is someone who is actually going through a big transformation as well. They are becoming a better version of themselves as a result of a connection with you. Underneath that, we actually have the Four of Wands energy here, so Four of Pentacles to the Four of Wands. This is all about celebration. It is about, you know, that 1111 card, so you could identify as a soulmate or a twin flame with this person. But it's about celebration, it's about coming together, it's about commitment as well. And I do feel that could definitely be the case here. Like I say, I do feel for many of you, either this is someone new who you've just started dating that could lead to this commitment, or for others of you, this could be a connection where it's always kind of stayed in this dating this dating energy, where maybe this person was reluctant to commit with you and perhaps that caused a separation. Or as I say, there could have been some um, deceptive behaviour with the Seven of Swords that was caused for a separation. Either way, I feel like it's an upgrade energy going... Um, this person definitely wants a new beginning. They want to upgrade this connection. They want to bring happiness and stability into this connection with this here. And I do feel they will actually take action towards you with this Knight of Swords showing here as well. When they do communicate, okay, this person could be a little bit... Um, kind of doesn't think things through is what I'm getting here, okay? Kind of rushes towards you. Um, and then maybe... Their words could lack a little bit of tact is what I'm getting. They could be a little bit too direct sometimes. Let's get some more oracle cards. We have fake emotions here. Did actually come out in the reverse. I definitely feel that for some of you, at least here, okay, this is someone who has not expressed their feelings to you. Maybe they've said, you know, this is just physical or this is, I don't feel anything, okay, and they're faking it right now. The other message I'm getting, okay, is for some of you, this person could be coming across as more independent than they actually are. they kind of like um, faking it till they make it is what I get there. We have crossing the bridge, but there is movement here. Again, for some of you, there could be a physical distance between you. But it is about going into a different space in a different time. A different mindset is what I'm really getting here. This person is travelling. Wow, and they are becoming loyal. I feel this is someone who is very loyal in their heart. But for some of you, they've not always shown that in the physical. That's not going to apply for each of you and every one of you, obviously. But for some of you, at least, okay, do feel this person has been deceptive. But they are loyal to you in their heart. They do feel this true love. And I feel they are taking these steps across this bridge to becoming more loyal to themselves as well as a part of this rebirth that I feel they might be going through. At the bottom of the deck, we do have Take Off the Mask. This person wants to reveal their true self to you. For some of you, as I say, this is a new connection, okay? And this is the type of connection where you both feel comfortable, where you can take off the mask and be your true authentic selves. For others of you, this is someone who has worn a mask, has not revealed the depth of their feelings to you as yet, and they are coming in with something real is what I get. They're going to be showing the real them to you. Let's get a couple more oracle cards before we get your message cards here for group one. Wow, we have the milk and honey card, absolutely beautiful. It's card number 51, that comes down to six. Those numbers could mean something to you. This person loves you. They see you as someone who is very abundant, someone who is very loyal, someone who is very romantic as well, someone who is very stable and has it all together. They really do think of you as the full package with this card being here. And it's like, this is something they've had to travel to achieve for many of them. So be it, like I say, a physical distance between you, or be it having to go through their shadow side 
and achieve this clarity, this vulnerability they are coming to um, in order to remove this mask with you. It has definitely been a process is what I get for you. We also have time for a nap card number 24 which again comes down to a six and again that is about you know this a number of the lovers it's about balance and it's about harmony things could be very quiet right now okay and this is also an energy of this could be someone who is watching you as well okay there could be silence between you but they still got their eye on you is what i have there wow and then there's message in a bottle so that silence isn't going to last forever and interestingly we actually have the card 51 and the card 15, which I mentioned earlier on was when I paused the um, video to pick up the cards there. That was actually in a different video. Okay, but anyway, my point is they're mirrored numbers and that actually did come out in Aquarius's reading just now. So perhaps there is an Aquarian watching this, okay? Or that could be significant message for some of you. We also have the new life card. This is someone who wants a new life with you. They are wanting to communicate this with you. They see you as they're happy ever after is what I get. Like I say, for some of you, it's something of a journey to get to this point. Others of you, you've met this person recently. Okay, and they really do see the full potential with you. We have round and round. So like I said, for some of you, has been cycles occurring here. You have actually gone round and round with this person to achieve this new version, this new life. And this judgment, this person wants to create something beautiful with you, is what I really feel here for you. And from the Circle of Love, before we get your messages cards, from the Circle of Love, we have, wow, we have the real deal. Love just gone really go spumpy. Love is true here. Feelings are intense. And it's this lovely image here. And at the bottom of the deck, we have Embrace. You will soon be able to embrace your special someone. Absolutely beautiful. So your messages from your person are, I want union with you. I am almost ready. You are so compassionate. I am on my own journey right now. And I'm certainly feeling, okay, that is the case. I do feel, okay, for many of you here, this is someone maybe you've had a separation with, you both had to gain this independence, you've both gone on your own journey, ultimately leading you back to this journey here. And for others of you, okay, where this is a brand new connection, a brand new person, what I really feel here, okay, is that you've both gone on this journey independently and now you've met when you're both in that same vibration and this is a union of souls either way is what I really have here for you, group number one. So that is your reading, that is how your person is currently feeling about you and thinking about you. Have, if you have enjoyed this reading, then please do leave me a like, comment, subscribe, it really does mean a lot to me and I shall chat to you on another reading soon. Take care everyone, bye. Hi there, those of you who chose group number two with this lovely seashell here. This is going to be your reading. So I have your oracle cards here, which we'll take a look at now. We have your messages cards for in a little while, and we shall get you some tarot cards in just a moment. So how is this person currently thinking and feeling about you, group two? We have card number five with the throat chakra. We have attraction, beautiful. Divine count, soul counterpart, attraction, transcends superficiality. And we also have the gardener. This person is feeling inspired by you is the first message that I'm getting here. They are feeling inspired to work on themselves, to really tend to their own garden, to look at their own shadow side perhaps for some of you. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and to see their real worth is what I get. I feel you've triggered something within this person so that... They feel and they see themselves differently as a result of that. I really also get the message here, this is someone who, if you are not in communication, is longing to communicate with you. Perhaps someone who hasn't expressed just how significant um, and how much of an effect you've actually had on them and their life is what I really feel here. This is also someone who thinks of you as somebody who does take that time to look after themselves, who does have some healthy boundaries and does work on self-love. I do feel you are someone who is very spiritual and grounded with the earth is what I get here. Very connected to nature and being drawn to those trees there and they are actually people. And I do feel that you and this person could share that connection um, in nature there. With this attraction card, okay, perhaps this person is a little bit surprised at their feelings for you or perhaps surprised that you actually 
like them is another message I'm getting. Perhaps this is someone who certainly in the past, okay, could have lacked self-confidence is what I'm getting, which is why they're currently going through a transformation. We have that butterfly there and really looking after themselves as a result of you is what I get there, okay? I really do feel you've had such an impact on this person's life and maybe maybe they've not expressed that to you. And I do feel maybe this has had this equal effect on you here. As I say, the throat chakra, I get the message this person does actually want to communicate with you and also that they have not communicated the depth of the effect that you have had on their life here. With this attraction, okay, they do feel an extreme attraction towards you and it could, as I say, even be the case that you're not typically each other's type, okay? Um, you're not from the same culture or same... Sorry about that, group two. That was the postman. Okay, so yeah, I do feel this person is someone who wants to talk to you. This connection has taken them by surprise, perhaps, okay? You could be from different cultures, different backgrounds here, okay? It really is a connection that sort of defies logic. I have actually just seen the Empress twice whilst I've been shuffling here. Divine feminine energy. This person could really feel and see you as their divine feminine here. What I'm also feeling here, okay, is that you have you've helped this person to step into their divine feminine energy to start to nurture more is what I feel here, both themselves and their connections. Let's get some tarot cards for you. How is this person currently thinking and feeling about you, group two? We have the King of Pentacles. So feeling very grounded right now. Feeling like somebody, this gardener, okay, they've built up a lot as well as another message that could be um, the case here. Okay, As they're working on themselves, they're coming more stable. They're actually building up a lot for themselves. This could be somebody who is very wealthy or someone who has um is an entrepreneur businessman here someone who is very focused on the 3d and i feel this connection is called for this person to look beyond that is what i feel okay to look beyond superficiality in general we also have here the page of pentacles Interesting, lots of Earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo could be significant, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for some of you here. I've actually just dropped a card onto the floor, so just one second. We have the Ten of Wands here for you. So the card that actually jumped onto the floor for you was actually the Death and Rebirth card here. I do feel this could be someone, okay, who has got a lot going on externally with this Ten of Wands. And I'm also getting the message here, okay, for some of you at least, this could be somebody who... Like I say, they haven't spoken up their truth and that's actually becoming quite a burden for this person. I do feel that they do have a lot going on externally as well, okay? Like I say, they could be very focused on their own personal growth right now, focused on business, on work, okay? I do feel this is someone who almost takes on the burdens of others is another message I'm getting there for you. I do feel that they want to come towards you, okay? They want to communicate with you. There could have been an ending in this connection, okay? for this rebirth to occur but what I'm really feeling here this is all about that transformation I definitely feel you have transformed this person's mindset you've transformed this person's life beyond recognition they are no longer the same person um they were when you met them they have become a far greater far better version of themselves and this is a process that's still occurring for them they're also going through some transformation and enlightenment process here as well at the bottom of the deck we actually have the beautiful ten of pentacles this is someone who sees you long term this king of pentacles page of pentacles here that also indicates long term and stable connection it also indicates um you know the ten of pentacles it is financial abundance it's emotional abundance it's kind of like the full shebang it certainly speaks about family and stability here i do feel this person does feel you are a part of their soul family and it can also indicate you know commitment and marriage as well i do feel this is somebody who who wants the full package is what I get here, but right now could be struggling with expressing that due to maybe elements of lack of self-worth, but that is why they're working so hard on themselves right now. But they want to take this leap of faith towards you. However, we do have that five of swords showing itself here. A lot of mental conflict going on for your person right now. As much as they do feel this attraction towards you, as much as they do see the potential here, 
especially if there is no communication right now with throat chakra there could have as i say been a separation and ending here this person's gaining the courage to come towards you they could be a little bit afraid that they do not have enough to offer you right now they're not quite that king of pentacles yet is what i'm feeling for most of you here let us get some oracle cards now how is your person currently thinking and feeling about you we have time for a nap and we have message in a bottle interestingly they did both come out in group number one with between worlds at the bottom this again definitely indicates this is transformation this self-growth this person is going through right now this leveling up you really helped this person step out of their shadows into the light they might have had to go through the shadows to get there though they've had to go deep is what i really feel you are going to hear from this person this person definitely wants to speak to you we actually have 24 15 and 3 those numbers could be significant for you both these come down to a six, though. That's the number of the lovers. It's all about harmony. It's about balance. This person wants to offer you balance, wants to offer you something real stable. However, they are currently transforming. I do feel, okay, they might come across as the King of Pentacles, but they're really the page. They're not quite there yet. And I feel they want your understanding on that as well as what I'm getting here. I feel this person does want you to be patient with them is another message I feel there for you. Let us get some more oracle cards here for you. What is going on? How is your person currently thinking and feeling about you? Wow, we have adventures. We have the ring, the proposal. We have dance to the rhythm of life. And we also have here lonely walk home. Right now, I do as I say feel maybe for some of you at least, there is no communication here. Okay, this person is longing to communicate with you. But they've had to go through that shadow side. They've had to go through that darkness to realise just how light and beautiful the other side will be. It's all about that duality, that contrast that they've had to experience. They do want to make you a stable offer here. And they are learning to dance to the rhythm of life. As in they're learning more to go with the ups and downs and speak their truth and they be more authentic is what I get they want to go on adventures with you and for some of you there could be a physical distance we have crossing the bridge I feel they want to cross that bridge okay from the silence that maybe you're in or the little communication or not opening up to their feelings okay I feel they want to take that leap of faith they want this fool's energy they want to jump off that cliff and take this adventure for what it is is what I have here for you let us get some circle of love oracle cards for you now how is your person thinking and feeling about you group two how is your person thinking and feeling that's a few too many cards we will take this one as it jumps so far out we do have the card forgiveness forgiving yourself and others benefits your love life Perhaps this person does want your forgiveness, especially if they have not expressed their feelings or maybe they've ghosted you, gone silent on you for some of you here. Wow, we have union. Union is closer than you realise. Keep going. It's almost time with truth. Someone is about to reveal their true feelings for you. Trust what they tell you, good or bad. At the bottom of the deck, we have embrace. You will soon be able to embrace your special someone. And I do feel, okay, this person is coming in with this truth, this throat chakra here, okay, this message in the bottle. You can definitely express, expect to hear something from this person. They may well ask for your forgiveness, okay, especially if you have been dealing with this person for quite some time or there's been silence here, okay. Something might have gone down, but I definitely feel this person wants this union with you. They want a new beginning. They've gone through the death part now. They want this rebirth with you. They want this union with you. Um, and they want something stable and committed and serious here is what I really get for you, group number two. Let us now get an animal oracle card for you before we get your messages cards. How is this person thinking and feeling? That again is a few too many. We have time to heal with snake spirit. Again, this did come out in group number one. So if you were drawn to group one, there might be some messages there for you. We also have mouse spirit and it says, tend to the small things, beautiful. And one more from this deck for you, please. Okay, we have two. We have be here now with card 34. And we also have lay a solid foundation with card number six. This person's going through a healing and at the moment, 
what we actually have at the bottom is the beautiful butterfly transformation is beautiful card number 11 11 could be a significant number for some of you here this person wants to lay a solid foundation with you they are tending to those small things they are tending to their own garden right now so that they can come towards you with something real i also feel okay they want to be with you now okay and even if this is taking some time know they're feeling that too they want to be here now but they have to tend to these small things at this precise moment they are definitely going through a transformation and awakening process here okay beautiful times are likely to be ahead for you and this person let us now have a look at your messages from your person what would they like to say to you at this time i know i was harsh it was my defense wow will you forgive me this person certainly wants your forgiveness for some of you here at least Family issues play a big part in my love life. This person, okay, could certainly, okay, have had low self-esteem, okay, or struggle to express themselves. Perhaps they never really felt cured um, when they were children. They never felt that anyone really listened to them. That's one message I'm getting here. So they kind of didn't feel the need then to express their feelings to others because they were kind of dismissed. I do feel for many of you, this person certainly wants your forgiveness here, okay, and they want some understanding and... They do still want you to be patient with them is what I'm getting. I feel this person's had a big realisation, okay, and they are currently working very hard on themselves. They do want to speak this truth towards you and they do want to come in with something real, this embrace energy, but something solid and committed, which is why perhaps for some of you there is um, a time of silence or quiet right now okay while this person goes through this transformation while they shift from the darkness into the light so that they can come towards you with something real which is ultimately in the hands of the fates here yeah. and i can't help but notice we do have that loyal heart energy and higher power here we could keep going and going so that has been your reading group two i do hope it has been helpful in some kind of way for you if you have enjoyed the reading then please do leave me a like comment subscribe it really does mean a lot to me and i shall catch you all another reading soon take care everyone bye hi there those of you who chose group number three with the purple dice this is going to be your reading We'll take a look at your messages from your person in just a moment. We have your oracle cards and I'm going to shuffle some tarot cards for you as well as more oracle cards to have a look at what is going on. How is your person currently thinking and feeling about you, my beautiful group threes? Okay, that's slightly better light. Let us have a look. So what we have here, first of all, we have shadows. This is the moon's energy, card number 18. We also have surprise. You may be about to be surprised. Lovely. And we have emotional freedom. Okay, what I really get here strongly, okay, is that this person has reached a point of clarity in regards to you and your connection. I certainly feel that there could have been a lot going on in the shadows, a lot going on behind the scenes. And your person may very well have had to face their shadow side to come to this realisation, this emotional freedom. Kind of getting that um, Ace of Swords energy here. So I still feel it's about communication. It's about um, clarity of mind. I do feel that you've helped free your person from the darkness a little bit here and help them step into the light is something I'm getting here. I also get the message, okay, that the connection with you has been very triggering for both you and your person. This connection could have caused for the both of you to really go into the depth of your soul, okay, and to cleanse any old wounds that might have been lingering there. You are about to be surprised, or you may be about to be surprised. I feel this person does want to gift you something, does want to surprise you. I also get the message, okay, that you have surprised this person. Perhaps you have taken some steps back for some of you here, okay? You've set healthy boundaries with this person is what I'm getting as well for some people here, and that surprised them. What I'm also getting here, okay, is you've surprised this person by how you've made them feel about themselves. I feel this could be somebody, okay, who was stuck in the darkness for a very, very long time. And now you've come along and you are that light. And they are so surprised about that. You do offer this person a sense of emotional freedom they've never experienced before. I also feel this is somebody who is attracted to your mind. They're also attracted to the fact that you're extremely unique and beautiful. You shine your own light. You're not afraid to be you is what I get here, okay? You have that emotional freedom. And you're okay with being who you are. You're authentic then. And this re person really admires and loves that about you. 
The first tarot card we have out here for you is actually the Magician. This is Aries energy. It's also... Um, it's about manifestation. I do feel this person is trying to manifest you into their life right now, okay? Or manifest you back into their life. We have the Nine of Cups here. We have the Judgment cards. And we also have, well, we do have the Ace of Swords here. I certainly feel this person has come to some sort of a clarity here. They've gained clarity into what your connection is with each other, okay? They've gained clarity. And I say they've overcome shadows they never thought they would. This judgment energy is also about that rebirth, that purge, okay? Feel this person has maybe even gone through a dark night of the soul. And this could very well be the case for you as well, okay? Maybe you've gone through this darkness, okay? And you've achieved this light. This nine of cups indicates that you are this person's wish fulfillment. I feel that in itself, okay, has caught this person off guard and by surprised. Quite surprised. Maybe this is someone who was very closed off to love. Very closed off to the fact they might actually get good stuff for some of them here. Someone who just sort of went along with life, sort of plodded on through, never really experiencing the bliss that they experienced with you. This is someone who might have sort of had a very... Um, challenge in life then that has caused for them to be quite somewhat unhappy okay and you've really brought this sparkle to this person's life i do feel that they want a new beginning with you they want a fresh start they want to communicate with you here and they've definitely as i say they're going through some sort of a purge a rebirth here they're stepping into the light this nine of pentacles it's a very orange sunny card okay very yellow orange sunny card it's coming from that heart space there you are this person's wish fulfillment. At the bottom of the deck, we actually have the King of Cups here. So this is someone who does have deep emotions for you. I feel for many of them, these emotions have surprised them. And I feel they're going to surprise you when they actually come through with this clarity and this truth that they wish to speak to you. In regards to the fact that you are their wish fulfillment, they do see you as a soulmate of this King of Cups energy as well. As well as a true friend, I feel this is somebody who knows that they could depend on you. Somebody who they could turn to and you would always be there for them. You've always got their best interests at heart is another message I'm getting here. I also get the message, okay, for some of you here, you could have, whilst taking these steps back from this person maybe, okay, or setting healthy boundaries with this person, you could have delivered some home truths. And this could have actually hit the core. Something that other people may be pussyfooted around. You've actually been quite direct to them. And you've said, look, I feel you need to look at this. And why you do this. Or something like this. You've, It's your mind. It's the way you speak. It's the way you put yourself across. Okay, This person does have that real deep respect for that. And you've definitely triggered something within them. To allow for them to now see the light. For them to now accept that they can have good things in their life and that's quite a huge transformation for this person after always living in the shadows after always being in the dark now they have light in their life let us get some wisdom of the oracle messages here for you how is your person currently thinking and feeling about you group three so we have exchanging gifts they do want to gift you something we have two indications of that they see you as a gift as well you are this gift that has come from nowhere, that has popped out of this box for them, okay? That has come from nowhere, sort of awestruck almost is what I'm getting here. They admire your femininity here as well, or your, your, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> your loyal and nurturing side as well is what I get here. We also have from this deck, we have the card Mending, and this is card 52, and we have Chopwood. This person is currently going through, like I say, a shift from the darkness into the light. They're clearing out space in their life for you is what I get for many of you here. They're making room for you in their life. They want to bring... You've brought a lot of healing to this person. They see you as the healer. They see you as sort of a goddess, the um, very nurturing, very... The empress energy, okay? That nurturer at the end of the day. Um, and they want to bring men... They want to mend and heal this connection with you as well, is what I feel. Let's also get one more card from this deck for you. So we also have your happy, happy. You make this person happy. And this is not someone who is used to experiencing happy moments. I do definitely feel there has been so much darkness in your person's life, okay? And you've brought so much happiness, so much light. And they may not have even known what to do with that, is a message I feel here. 
At the bottom of the deck, we have the beautiful soulmates card. This person definitely does see you as their soulmate. It's card number 41, and that comes down to a five. Those numbers could be significant here for you. But yeah, definitely do see you as um, their soulmate, and you have the key to their heart. I feel it's a mutual energy there as well. Let us get an animal oracle card for you now. We have Spider Spirit, make your dreams real, 56 card. And it comes down to an 11, that could be significant for you. This person could be dreaming about you. This moon shadow energy, okay, certainly in the night time, okay, they could be thinking about you, how they can make this a reality, how they can manifest this, how they can bring this into the 3D. We also have card number 13 with Cat Spirit, claim your independence. And interestingly, there is a cat on this card as well. So cats could be significant to you. But it is about that feline energy, as well as being very independent. This person admires how you are not afraid to be who you are. Even if it means going it alone, you're still going to be true and authentic to yourself. This person loves that about you. I also get the message this person is becoming more independent as they achieve this emotional freedom. And we also have here for you Crow Spirit. Co-create with spirit. Beautiful. This could very well be a spiritual connection. And this person is coming more into alignment. Like I say with this king of cups. He's sort of in that meditation pose there. He's quite chilled. Okay, this person could be actually going through a spiritual awakening. Can't help but notice we do have that queen of pentacles. They see your worth. They see your value here for sure. At the bottom of the deck we have pig spirit. Use your mind wisely with card 47. I find that fascinating, okay, when this person has been in so much darkness and this emotional freedom that they now have achieved, I feel their headspace is a lot less cluttered. They are more chill. They are more just breathe. They're able to breathe, this is what I get here, okay. There is a lot less clutter going on and they are using their mind to manifest to make these dreams come real rather than looking at the darker aspect of what could go wrong is what I really feel there for you let us get some circle of love well straight out for you and it's compromise there is a need to compromise in this situation so that could certainly be something that you guys might need to compromise on or this person might now be stepping into an energy where they can compromise where they're not feeling so guarded okay where they've got less going on in their headspace they've achieved clarity like i say and they are now in a space where they are able to compromise let us get a couple more from this deck for you so for group three, how is their person currently feeling? How are they feeling and thinking about them right now? We have the beautiful union card. Union is closer than you realise. Keep going, it's almost time. And at the bottom of the deck, we actually have the truth card. Someone is about to reveal their true feelings. Trust what they tell you, good or bad. And I do feel this person is likely to speak that truth, okay, with this king of um cups you're the magician the ace of swords okay and this judgment again i do feel this person wants a new beginning or a start with you beautiful group three we wow well, we have twin flame vibes here so you could very well be dealing with your twin flame they could have even come to the realization you are their twin flame or at least that you are a soulmate that you're a significant person in their lives here we also have here for you freedom, certainly giving this person a sense of freedom, freedom from themselves, freedom from the darkness is what I really get there. We have blessings and miracles as well as smudge. This person does see you as someone who is very healing, someone who is very spiritual. They see you as a blessing and a miracle. Blessings and miracles are occurring. I do feel this could very well be your twin flame to come from that darkness into this light, okay, this shift of energy here, this whole emotional freedom, this total sense of being real is what I get, coming back to the true authentic self here, a time of healing, okay, and these blessings are occurring, at the bottom of the deck you have the key to their heart, group three, this is absolutely beautiful, and I feel this is one of the things this person wants to confess to you, let us get an earth oracle message here for you, before we take your written messages from your person, we have waterfall 
effortless, beautiful. And at the bottom of the deck, we have dance celebration. You are going to have cause for celebration in the near future with this person. They see you as a reason to celebrate is what I get here. You've actually brought this person energy. You've shifted things up that they now are open to celebration. They're open to happy vibes. They're open to good things, whereas past energy i feel they would not have been they would have been very closed off or even afraid of good opportunities because there was so much in that shadow side things are going to be far more effortless going forward for you things are going to start flowing in the right direction so let's have a look now with your messages from your person what did they want to say to you i didn't do feelings but then i met you and we could not make this up that is kind of indicated here okay they were in the darkness totally closed off to everything is what I get here okay no sense of happiness and then there you are big surprise I love you like I have never loved anyone and you are my wish fulfillment and that is absolutely beautiful because it has actually been placed with this nine of cups okay you are this person's wish fulfillment and if you're doubting that right now this is confirmation okay this person is certainly you have the key to their heart you could as say be dealing with your twin flame okay so they are going to reveal this truth they want this union with you it's a massive big surprise okay for possibly you and them here okay but they want a new life with you they want this soulmate energy and you know this penguin does have that key and there is that key there you certainly have the key to each other's hearts it's what i feel group three so that has been your reading. I hope it has been helpful in some kind of way for you. If you have enjoyed, then please do leave me a like, comment, subscribe. It really does mean a lot to me. And I shall catch you on another reading soon. Take care, everyone. Bye.